Assalamu alaikum guys. The span between two column is 22 feet. Let me give you the answer. 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 Let me give you First of all I will tell you the size of floor beam which is 12 by 18 inches depth is 18 inches and width is 12 inches so this is the size of this beam next guys you can see the steel reinforcement details we have three steel rods in upper portion of this beam and three steel rods at the bottom you can see guys here in upper portion we have double steel rods at this section specially at the distance of l by 4 guys you can see we have three steel rods at the bottom three at the top and two are side bars look at here these two steel rods are side bars specially constructed for l by 4 distance where we have negative bending moment or where we have more chances of cracks to resist cracks we are providing side bars also extra bars if you see in this section we don't have side bars but at the distance of l by 4 you can see side bars are available there The dia is 16 mm for both section tension zone and compression zone dia is 16 mm stirrups dia is 8 mm extra steel rods are more stronger than crank bar or bent up bar If you see guys the spacing of stirrup is 5 inches at the distance of L by 4 where we have extra steel rods because this is the place where we have maximum shear stresses to resist maximum shear stresses we are providing extra steel rods also the spacing the spacing of stirrups are providing closely compared to after L by 4 where we don't have shear stresses if you see guys the hooks are bent on 135 degree for the stirrups this is very important as i discussed in many videos and the length is about 3 inches the dia is 8 mm and the spacing is 5 inches after l by 4 we have 6 to 7 inches the stirrups hooks should be placed alternately don't provide the hooks on the same position or on the same side but it should be alternately but they didn't provide hooks alternately so this is the technical point of structural design especially for beam and column you can see hooks are provided at the same direction but it should be provided alternately next guys you can see we have three steel rods at the bottom and three at the top but in bottom portion which is tension zone we should provide maximum numbers compared to its upper portion because in tension zone as i told you in many videos and this is also the rules of concrete that concrete is weak in tension but it's strong in compression so therefore to increase the strength of the beam we are providing more numbers of steel rods at the bottom compared to its upper portion or in compression zone after completion of floor beam they will place this beam inside the farm work which is ready in size is 12 by 18 inches with slab 
without slab sorry with slab we have 24 inches because the thickness of the slab is 6 inches and here the size is 18 inches for this beam so total we have the depth of the beam with slab 24 inches without the slab we have 18 inches This is the junction between beam and column. So in the junction between beam and column, providing more extra steel rods. And it's depend, it's depend on the structure load. Also the extra steel rod dia sometime, we can increase compared to normal diameter of floor beam. If you see where we have junction between beam and column are near its support, we have negative bending moment but at the mid of the beam we have positive bending moment at the end of the beam we have negative bending moment especially to resist negative bending moment placing of extra steel rods are very important are bent up bar but bent up bar is economical but this is not stronger than extra steel rods are cut bars this is end of the beam guys you can see clearly so at the end of the beam also extra steel rod should be provided but they didn't provide here but here you can see the spacing is here about 4 inches. The first tier of spacing should be minimum 2 inches. Look here and the other you can increase up to 5 inches. The farm work or shutting is not properly constructed. So this is in progress. Some hooks are not bent properly. It should be provided on 135 degree but in most of the construction and steel structure design they are providing it on 90 degree but it cannot resist with earthquake so therefore 135 degree of hooks more resist uh, it can do more resistance especially during earthquake so this is a short video to guide you for basic informations in RCC structure design especially for floor beam and the junction between beam and column. Thanks for watching. See you in next video. Goodbye.